Picture New York in the mid-1800s, a bustling hub of commerce and culture but with an undercurrent of tension. Imagine New York, a thriving city, its skyline dominated by factories belching smoke, as the Industrial Revolution powers its economy. The city's docks teem with activity, a testament to its position as a critical trade hub. It's a city of contrasts, where the wealthy and the working class rub shoulders. The wealthy business owners, their fortunes made in trade and industry, live lives of luxury. Meanwhile, the working class, including many recent immigrants, toil in factories and workshops struggling to make ends meet. Politically, the city is a cauldron of differing opinions. Anti-slavery sentiment is growing, fueled by the passionate speeches of abolitionists. Yet there's a paradox. The city's economic prosperity is closely tied to the South's cotton, powering its textile mills. This intricate connection creates a tension that hangs heavy in the air, like the smoke from the city's factories. In the midst of this, ordinary citizens carry on with their daily lives. They navigate crowded cobblestone streets, hawk their wares in bustling markets, and gather in pubs and meeting halls to debate the issues of the day. The city is alive with the sounds of horse-drawn carriages, street vendors, and children playing. But beneath this veneer of normalcy, there's an undercurrent of uncertainty. Rumors of war circulate, whispered in hushed tones. Families worry about their sons, husbands, and fathers who might be called to fight. The city, so accustomed to the rhythm of commerce and industry, is on the brink of change. The state of New York, with its booming economy and diverse population, stands as a microcosm of the nation's struggles. As the mid-1800s draw to a close, the tension escalates. The city that never sleeps is restless, the air thick with anticipation and unease. As the nation edged closer to war, New Yorkers braced themselves for the storm that was about to hit. When the storm of war finally came, it didn't bring battles to New York's doorstep, but that didn't mean the state was untouched. Despite no battles being fought on its soil, New York played an instrumental role in the Civil War. It was a bulwark of support for the Union, providing more soldiers and supplies than any other northern state. The Empire State, as it was known, became a bastion of industry and military might. Its bustling factories churned out uniforms, boots, blankets, and much-needed ammunition for the troops on the front lines. But the war was not just about the front lines. It was also a conflict of ideologies and societal norms. In 1863, New York City became a cauldron of discontent during the infamous draft riots. Angered by the draft and the ability of the wealthy to buy their way out of service, thousands took to the streets in protest. The riots, which lasted several days, were a stark reminder of the internal conflicts tearing at the fabric of the nation. New York's families made profound sacrifices during this tumultuous period. Fathers, sons and brothers left their homes to fight in distant battles. Their absence felt deeply in the heart of their communities. The war took a toll on every household, with families making do with less, their lives forever marked by the specter of war. Yet despite these hardships, New Yorkers banded together in an extraordinary show of solidarity. They sent care packages to the troops, organized fundraisers, and volunteered in hospitals. The women of New York in particular played a crucial role, stepping into roles previously held by men and keeping the state's economy afloat. The Civil War was a time of turmoil and transformation for New York. It was a period marked by bitter conflicts and profound sacrifices, but it was also a time of unity and resilience, a testament to the indomitable spirit of New Yorkers. Despite the turmoil and sacrifice New Yorkers pressed on, their contributions vital to the Union's war effort. While men fought on distant battlefields, the people of New York kept the home fires burning. They were as much a part of the war effort as those on the front lines, the Empire State, as it was known, became the empire of effort. Manufacturing boomed. New York's factories churned out uniforms, weapons, and other supplies for the Union Army. From the bustling streets of Manhattan to the quiet corners of upstate New York, the hum of industry was a constant patriotic heartbeat. Food, too, became a weapon of war. Farmers worked tirelessly, their fields transformed into a sea of wheat and corn. Apples, potatoes, beef, and dairy products were packed and shipped to nourish the troops. Even the Hudson River seemed to understand its duty, carrying these vital supplies to ports, where they began their journey to the soldiers. But it wasn't just about material contributions. Every day, life in New York was forever changed. Women, traditionally confined to their homes, stepped into roles left vacant by the men. 
They worked in factories, managed farms, ran businesses. Their hands, once soft, became calloused from labor. Their spirits, once delicate, hardened with resolve. Children, too, played their part. Collecting scrap metal became a game of sorts, a way for the youngest New Yorkers to feel they were contributing to the cause. Little hands gathered scraps of iron, copper, and lead, precious materials to be melted down and reborn as bullets and cannonballs. Behind every act of sacrifice and resilience, there was a human story. Stories of wives who kissed their husbands goodbye, not knowing if they'd ever return. Stories of parents who worked from dawn till dusk so their children could eat. Stories of children who grew up too fast, their innocence lost to the harsh realities of war. But through it all, New Yorkers held on to hope. They held on to the belief that their efforts, their sacrifices, would not be in vain. That they, too, were part of the fight for freedom, for unity. In their own way, each New Yorker was a soldier in the Civil War, fighting not with bullets but with determination and grit. When the guns finally fell silent, New York was forever changed. The end of the Civil War marked a new era for the Empire State, one that would see it rise from the ashes, stronger and more resilient. The political landscape shifted dramatically as the state severed its financial ties with the South, a move that had been intertwined with the cotton trade. New York's economy began to pivot towards industry, setting the stage for the Industrial Revolution that would soon sweep across the nation. The city's ports buzzed with activity, the harbors teeming with ships laden with goods from around the world. The city's streets echoed with the clatter of machinery. The hum of progress was in the air. Social changes were equally profound. The end of the Civil War brought about the 13th Amendment, abolishing slavery nationwide. This signaled increased rights for African Americans in New York, who were now able to enjoy freedoms that were previously denied to them. They could now vote, own property, and have access to education. Yet, the shadow of war still lingered. Families mourned the loss of sons, brothers, and husbands who had gone off to fight and never returned. The trauma of war was etched in the hearts of those left behind, a somber reminder of the sacrifices made. But the spirit of New Yorkers was indomitable. From the bustling streets of Manhattan to the rolling farmlands upstate, people worked tirelessly to rebuild their lives and their state. The resilience of New York was evident in every brick laid, every field plowed, and every business that opened its doors. In the aftermath of the Civil War, New York emerged stronger and more resilient, its people forever marked by the trials they had endured. This period in history was a testament to the enduring spirit of New Yorkers, a spirit that would continue to shape the state for generations to come. The echoes of the Civil War still resonate in New York today. The war may have ended over a century and a half ago, but its influence is woven into the fabric of the Empire State. From its bustling metropolises to its tranquil rural landscapes, you can sense a deep-rooted resilience, a testament to the trials and tribulations of that fateful period. The Civil War steered New York's political compass, setting the stage for progressive movements that would echo through the ages. It also shaped its cultural identity, kindling a spirit of unity and strength that remains a hallmark of New Yorkers. The tales of sacrifice, of families torn apart yet remaining resolute, of ordinary citizens stepping up to extraordinary challenges, continue to inspire. They serve as a poignant reminder of our shared history and the strength of the human spirit. The Civil War may be a chapter in New York's past, but its legacy lives on, a testament to the enduring spirit of its people.